to the, so Galaxy was an undergrown and overused top last year, and it got to the point where at retail value, a pounder of Galaxy was anywhere between forty and fifty dollars. Uh, we can get it for cheaper now, and I will link Yakima Valley Hops down below so you can check them out and buy some Galaxy if you want. But we're here to talk about some other options that are going to give you great flavors that you should also try. As little as half the price as well. So without further ado, let's move into the five hops that we think you should try right now. So first of all, let's talk about Azaka. Azaka, in my opinion, is actually a pretty like straightforward substitute for Galaxy. So one of the things that makes Galaxy such a pungent hop is it is high total oil, high cohumulone, and high myrcene content, and Azaka hits all those same boxes. Yep, so it's going to give you that that similar sort of um, spicy papaya type thing going on, um, a really nice tropical fruit profile, and uh, an overall great hop in our opinion. Yeah, and it can be used for anywhere from a west coast if you use some early stage Dawn because of the high cohumulone, all the way to a juicy if you use everything in that late edition, that whirlpool edition, and dry hop. So you can get a good range of flavors from Mazaka. It's a really complex hop and it doesn't cost as much as Galaxy. Next, let's talk about one of our tried and true competitors, and that is Amarillo. Amarillo was the OG cheater hop, and by cheater hop, I mean hops that you can use, and they will pretty much always make your beer taste good. Amarillo was Citra before Citra was good, and that's because it comes again with a high uh, myrcene content, relatively high total oil, and big flavors of citrus and orange. Yeah, Amarillo is your classic pungent tropical fruit hop. With that said though, the cohumulone content, which is what gives you that sharp bitterness, is actually lower on Amarillo. Um, so it can actually uh, lend really nicely to almost a perceived sweetness as well. Yeah, so it's gonna be a nice soft hop, good for balancing, and you can also use it as a single hop. And again, this one's definitely gonna be in that nearly half the price range of Galaxy. So fantastic sub for any kind of hazy style beer you plan on brewing. Yeah, next let's go to some hops that aren't necessarily going to be as direct substitutes for Galaxy, but they're still fun, interesting hops to use and can make great flavors in an IPA too if you use them correctly. So cashmere is going to be one of these hops. Cashmere is a fairly new hop actually, um, and it is going to balance out some of those tropical fruit profiles um, with a slight amount of herbal quality. It's got a relatively low total oil content, which means it's gonna be less pungent, less pop in your face than Galaxy, but it has some soft, delicate flavors that are nice and complex. Uh, it is also medium on myrcene, but higher in humulene and carophyllene, which means it's going to punch forward that kind of almost weed skunky not skunky skunky is a bad word dankness pungent we'll call it herbal <laughs> um uh, so cashmere would be a great substitute if you have, say, a nice pale ale recipe that calls for Galaxy. Um, cashmere is going to be the way to go there. And it's a really good one to be throwing in to the Whirlpool edition, not so much if you're throwing it in in that 60, 30, 20 standard West Coast hop edition profile. Yeah, great aromatics from what we've gotten out of it. Yeah. Next, let's go to another one that I believe is a, I think it came out of the breeding program for Sierra Nevada. Um, could be. Uh, I believe it's one of the neo Mexicanas offsprings. Uh, this one is, again, getting back to medium to medium high total oil content. Depending on the crop, you can actually find some that are pretty high total oil content. Um, but this is Idaho 7, and this is going to take some of the same complexity that you can get from Galaxy, where it has those tropical fruit mixed with dank, mixed with citrus, mixed with everything in the kitchen sink. Uh, and it's also high cohumulone, which means that this is a good one if you're going to use it in that West Coast profile. You're gonna be doing it in the 60, 20 flame out, dry hop mm. kind of schedule. Yeah, Idaho 7 can definitely um, provide those same qualities that you're looking for out of Citra if you're using it as a late edition hop, um, kind of its own character as early edition. Um, with that said, because it's a little bit lower oil content, um, I would recommend upping the amount if you plan on substituting this for Galaxy. Finally, let's go on to a really exciting new hop that a lot of people have been using in pastry stouts, in sweet milkshake IPAs, and a lot of other styles that uh, it's super universal because it has a really unique quality of coconut. Uh, Sabro is a hop that we have been using in probably the last dozen or so hazy IPAs that we brewed here, uh, and it is an absolutely fantastic hop. Big tropical flavor profile to it, and again, like Peter said, a giant coconut bomb. Yeah, this is just like Galaxy, also high in myrcene, and it is unlike Galaxy, lower cohemulone. So this is gonna be a softer, smoother hop uh, where it's really good to be throwing that in the Whirlpool or those later editions. But still with a similar pungency. As a recap, <laughs> the five, hop, five hops that we're going to recommend that you try out if you don't wanna spend Galaxy prices are uh, Zaka as a pretty straight substitute. Amarillo, the OG gangster. Cashmere for a softer, more delicate aromatic profile. 
in Idaho 7 for a little bit more of that herbal content. And Sabro, if you just wanna have fun and get that nice coconut flavor mixed in with all the other fun flavors that you're getting. Thanks for watching. These are five hops better than Galaxy. If you liked the video today, please smash that subscribe and like button down below. And comment button. And uh, let us know if you like these quick tips. We did one on Wednesday and we're doing one today because they're fun to get out and relatively easy for us to do. So <laughs> if you're into it, let us know in the comment section. 